If you are interested in increasing the performance or extending the life of your PC, you may consider upgrading your hard drive to an SSD drive. An SSD or solid state drive is made of flash memory instead of the traditional spinning platter in regular hard drives. Consequently, it's significantly faster and more reliable than a traditional hard drive. So if you've had your PC a few years and find your system slowing down and becoming less responsive, a Samsung SSD might be just what you're looking for. Before you upgrade your PC, make sure you've performed the following steps. First, determine how much space you'll need on your new SSD drive. To determine how much space you're using, simply right-click on your C drive and choose Properties. Check the amount of space currently used and be sure to select an SSD drive that provides you enough space. Secondly, you'll want to make sure that you're running Windows Vista, XP, or Windows 7 and that you've upgraded to the latest firmware. To determine whether you're running the latest firmware, go under Control Panel and click Windows Update. Finally, you'll want to make sure your PC has any important files or documents backed up. To do this, simply attach a flash drive or external hard drive and copy your most important files to the drive. Luckily, all Samsung SSDs ship with a full copy of the drive imaging software Norton Ghost. Well, you'll still want to take this extra step to ensure you don't lose any data if something goes wrong. It's also important to make sure that you have everything you need to get started. Luckily, Samsung SSDs come with all the parts you need to upgrade your PC. At most, you'll need to provide a screwdriver, but check all your parts before you get started because you don't want to open your PC and then realize you're missing something. Now, follow these steps to install your Samsung SSD. First, remove the power cable. Now, remove the PC cover. Depending on your PC, this may or may not require a screwdriver. Find the drive bay. The location and style of the drive bay may vary depending on your PC. For help, refer to the computer's manual. Now, before removing the hard drive, gently remove the SATA and power cables attached to the drive. Then, remove the hard drive. Again, the style of your drive bay may vary. Take the included Samsung 2.5-inch to 3.5-inch drive adapter and attach your new solid-state drive using the included screws. Simply place the SSD onto the adapter, making sure the SATA end is opposite the Samsung engraving. Then, insert four screws into the bottom and tighten each of them securely. Now, mount the drive assembly in the drive bay with the hardware from your computer. Then, attach the SSD to the SATA cable and power cable you took off the old hard drive. If you are adding this SSD as an additional drive and not removing your PC's hard drive, you would attach the SSD in the drive bay next to the hard drive, then attach the SSD to your computer's motherboard using the included red SATA cable and tricolor power cable. Now replace the PC cover and secure it in place. Finally, replace your PC's power cable. If you cloned your new SSD with your old hard drive before installing it, you can simply power on your PC as normal. However, for instructions on cloning your drives, refer to the included Norton Ghost software manual, or watch our video on using this helpful software.